What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at the all new 2022 Nissan Rogue. Big shout out and thank you to Flow Nissan of Statesville for providing this new Rogue for today's video. Definitely take a look at their website linked down below. And the model that we're looking at today is the SV front wheel drive, finished off in black and has an MSRP at $30,500. Underneath the hood of this all new Nissan Rogue, you're gonna find a 1.5 liter inline three cylinder turbocharged engine pumping out 201 horsepower with 225 pound feet of torque. It's paired to the continuous variable transmission and sends some power to the front wheels. And with a curb weight around 3,500 pounds running on a 14 and a half gallon fuel tank, you can expect 30 miles per gallon in the city with 37 out on the highway. The overall length is 183 inches with wheelbase at 106.5. Width is 72.4 with height at 66 and a half inches. For some more capabilities, approach angle is 19 degrees with breakover angle at 18 degrees. Minimum ground clearance is 8.2 inches and departure angle is 24 degrees. The Nissan Rogue can also tow up to 1500 pounds. Moving on to the exterior styling now with the all new generation of the Nissan Rogue. This has a very futuristic and modern appearance, and I like all the unique aspects. These headlights have a twin design. You can see the daytime running light up top. It is an LED. We also get the turn signal up there as well. And then the headlight itself is actually towards the center portion of the bumper. It has a very cool design with the chrome housing. You can also see chrome running around the entire grille with the all new Nissan logo with a built-in safety sensor. You get a nice design for all the mesh to allow cooling to the engine and radiators. And then down below, we get another large opening to allow cooling. There's even active grill shutters in the backside, a cool trim piece underneath the bumper with a nice light silver. Then you have a functional air inlet on the far side of the bumper to increase the aerodynamics. And then I really like how all the sharp lines come together with this front end. It certainly comes together nicely. And then you can see the bulges in the hood. They fade all the way towards the windshield. I think the new Rogue really does stand out. It looks much different than your typical compact SUV. Moving towards the side profile, we get a set of multi-spoke wheels finished off in a two-tone design with the machine silver and the metallic gray. Then you can see this plastic trim around the front and rear fender arch along with it on the lower side of these doors. You can see a sharp line in the lower portion of the door. And then we get a set of body colored door handles and body colored mirror caps with an integrated turn signal. There's chrome trim running through the entire top area of the side windows and a satin black trim piece on the A-pillar. You can also see a sharp bulge on the top portion of the rear fender arch to give it a wider appearance. And then the side profile really comes together nicely, has great proportions front and back. And then moving to the actual rear end, we get an integrated spoiler up top finished in the body color with your third brake light right in the center. We also get some black trim on the farthest sides of the rear windows, and then a large set of rear taillights, all integrated into the bodywork, finished off in a red housing with a smoked out design down below. We get the SV badge on the right side with Rogue written out in the center. New Nissan badges up top with your backup camera, with a lot of sharp lines all throughout the rear end and some curved bodywork. You can see a brushed aluminum trim piece on the lower portion of the lift gate, and then more of the plastic black trim throughout this rear bumper with parking sensors and a gray color for the rear diffuser. So there's a good look at the exterior with the all new generation Nissan Rogue. I really like the styling. I think it stands out and it's sized really well. It really does look nice. We have Nissan's key fob, pretty familiar key fob. We even get remote start on this car. But if I go ahead and lock it and then keeping the key fob in my pocket, I can just grab the door handle and press the one button. It'll unlock and we can check out this interior. This Nissan Rogue gets a two-tone fabric interior with gray as well as some black. If we take a look at the door panel now, you can see the smooth black leather along the armrest with some good padding, then a really nice fabric design on the back side with a smooth area up top. You can see our release handle along with lock and unlock, mirror controls and window controls, your grab handle, then a little bit of storage down below. Then we even get all the power controls on the left side of the seat with lumbar support, really nice bolsters with this fabric and stitching, and then that same fabric design right in the center. Very cool design, nice and sporty looking. Cool design coming up these backrests and then a little bit of stitching along the headrests. Taking a look at the steering wheel has somewhat of a flat bottom design finished off in a vinyl material and we get some silver trim. And then now inside the Nissan Rogue, keep my foot on the brake, we can go ahead and fire it up. You can see we have the tachometer over on the left side with your speedometer to the right 
And then the panel on the left side of the steering wheel, we can control what we see in the center screen. So right now we have a digital readout for your speedometer. You can scroll up and down to two different menus. Then scrolling over, we have some trip information that will come up that you can scroll through. Then we have also more information like your turbo boost gauge, a power meter, tire pressure comes up, audio controls, all of your safety settings can come up as well, especially when on cruise control. Then we have settings that you can scroll through for a lot of the different parameters and things within this car. Taking a look at the steering wheel, we have the new Nissan logo right in the center. All the cruise control settings are over on the right side, along with the distance pacing, then some Bluetooth and audio controls on the left. We do get steering wheel mounted paddle shifters that have a pretty good look and feel to them, then the turn signal and headlight stock on the left side with windshield wipers over on the right. On the left of the steering wheel, we have the steering wheel intervention button, and then we have the interior dimming switches down below that. You can see some of that smooth leather along the dashboard, and it comes across. It's a really nice black design with stitching, and the upper area, same with the doors, is more of a dark brown color. And then taking a look at the center infotainment screen now, we can see on our home screen, you can easily scroll through and see a few different things that will come up. We also have your phone integration that you can adjust everything. Audio comes up as well. And then you can tap your settings icon on this far right side and see a few more things coming up. We also have your information button. And then if I take the car and put us into reverse by pushing it forward, you get a backup camera that comes up with some guidelines. It's decently HD. We also get your parking sensors coming up in the center. And then we can just tap the button and put us back into park. We do get some physical controls underneath the screen like your menu shortcut, audio and camera. Then you also have your track button on this left side. We have your volume on off, a tuning and scrolling dial on the right side. Then two air vents right in the center with all the physical climate controls. They get their own LCD, very easy to adjust everything with fan speed, all the different zones. And then this is dual temperature, as you can see, very easily adjust, on off button and auto, AC and sync, and then a few more controls. We also have a USB port as well as a 12 volt and a little bit of storage here, great for a phone or two. And then a cool looking brushed black trim right in the center. You can see two cup holders as well. Cool design for the shifter, electronic parking brake, then your drive mode. You can toggle this up and down. We have an eco mode, standard, and then a sport mode. And then behind that, we get a little bit of storage in here and then nice black leather along with the stitching. Pressing that button, this opens up into two separate pieces and it's pretty deep down here. You can fit quite a lot of items. I like how it is independent like that. We also get our glove box on this right side with a pretty good amount of space and some nice dark trim. And then one last look at the new interior for the Nissan Rogue. This one isn't a fully crazy top of the line model, but I think the use of materials is pretty good. It has a really good layout. It's nice and simple, and yet it feels like a nice new car. And then up top, we get a sunglass holder and your dome lights. And then moving to the rear seat space, if I grab the door handle and open it up, this interior panel is finished off just like the front with that brownish color, the cool fabric, and then even that brushed black. This is a three-seater back here. You get all the same two-tone fabric, and the middle seat even has a cutout that you can pull down, and we get a good size armrest as well as two cup holders. We get storage on the back side of these front seats along with two air vents and then two USB ports. All right, so sitting now in the back seat of this Nissan Rogue. So this is more on the smaller side of Nissan's lineup. It's smaller than a Murano, and then of course smaller than a Pathfinder. But sitting back here at five foot 11, I have plenty of headroom, maybe like two or three inches. Driver's seat at my height, pretty good knee room as well. And these seats recline just a little bit. There's a handle you can pull and just pull this back, maybe like an inch or so. It does help out, it's not crazy a lot, but you know, it's nice to at least have a little bit of adjustment. Good armrest on this left side, and of course the one in the center. And then a really large window, and I can even kind of see out of this back one. We have a hook up top with a grab handle, and then your dome lights right up top. And then moving to the cargo area, I can just grab the handle right on the bottom, electronically open it, and then manually lift it up. We have a really squared off cargo area back here, as you can see. You even get a cutout on the left and the right side for a few smaller items, which is a cool touch. And then right in the center, I can lift this up, and we get a full size spare tire underneath. And then from the back, I can grab those handles that we did for the recline and get these right out of the way very quickly and easily. They'll manually get out of the way. And then you can see just how much more storage space the Nissan Rogue is gonna give you. Really nicely sized for being more of a compact SUV. I like how the seats fold down perfectly flat. You have a huge opening into the cargo area and then a ton of space all up in front of these seats. All right guys, so we are setting off now in the all new Nissan Rogue. So I had the all new Pathfinder for two whole weeks, drove that like 1700 miles on a trip up north. So this kind of is pretty familiar. The whole climate control settings, the center gauge cluster and the nav screen, a lot of it is very similar. Same steering wheel controls and everything like that. 
So you can certainly tell this is obviously a mini version of the bigger Nissan lineup. So getting my bearings with this, you have a lot of adjustments for the steering wheel and the seats. I like how you get power controls. So you can get in a pretty comfortable spot. There's a lot of good padding and it's really comfortable in here, honestly. The armrests are in a great place. This is a pretty just normal, comfortable car. Three cylinder turbocharged engine. That's gonna be interesting to feel out some of the performance to it. But at least just normal driving, it's nice and comfortable. You know, I like how simple everything looks. However, it does look pretty nice. So if we go into the sport mode and just pull this back once into the manual mode, while this is a CVT transmission, there's not actual gears in it, like a traditional, like a nine speed or a six speed or something. It kind of uses its own programming to create gears within it. So we are in what they call second gear. Let's give it a little bit of gas and feel out the front wheel drive and turbo. Wow, that was up to 50 miles an hour and that wasn't even straining the engine. That's actually really impressive. I've been in, I think, maybe one or two other three cylinders and you just feel like they're really, really stressing. This is impressive so far. Let's do another acceleration and kind of feel it out from third. Wow. Honestly, that just effortlessly gets up to speed. Plenty of pep for a car like this. It doesn't really weigh that much. Yeah, sport mode kind of gives you that little bit extra feedback from the throttle pedal. If you go into normal drive and sport mode, it's just a little bit more aggressive. The turbo, you know, you can feel the power. If we tone it down into the standard drive mode, it kind of holds a lower gear, so it's not as aggressive. We will give it a little bit more of an acceleration real quick. But doing that, still get the turbo power. And the CVT does seem to have its own gears, which is really interesting the way Nissan is tuning this. Might be the only CVT that's actually worth buying because it doesn't feel like one. Eco mode, a lot more sluggish, of course, but the fact that you can get nearly 40 miles per gallon in a vehicle that is a compact SUV, that's really impressive. And then testing out the three-point turn, pretty good turning radius. Backup camera could use a little bit of an update, but honestly, really, really sharp turning for this car. And then spinning to the point of view, we'll feel it out. We'll go up into the sport mode there. But you can just see the speed climb right up to 55 miles per hour there. Really nicely balanced. You know, it doesn't feel like just a cheap economy car with no power. It's actually something you can daily drive, just rack up some miles and still use for, you know, somewhat of a utility vehicle. While you're probably not really gonna tow anything with it, you know, you could put some bike racks or something on the back if you opt for a trailer hitch. Really good visibility out the front windshield, huge windows, nice mirrors and everything. And then over your shoulders, you have a really good view out. Not really any crazy blind spots. That back plastic piece where the, I guess, D-pillar would be, it's a little bulky, but overall you do get pretty good visibility in this. And it's nice and quiet, you know, nothing crazy loud or anything annoying about it. And I like how you do get the drive mode, it's just to kind of tone it down a little bit. Go back into the eco mode. Suspension seems to handle bumps really well too. It seems like a pretty solid car. You know, some of the vehicles that this might compete with probably are gonna feel a little cheap, but I think Nissan did do a pretty good job at least giving you some refinements to where you know you're in something nice that you can comfortably rack up some miles in. And even in eco mode, it nicely gets up to speed. That engine, I really am impressed. I wasn't thinking it would be that peppy and not feel like it's straining. So I like the balance of that for sure. So then I think that is about it then for the 2022, the all new Nissan Rogue. Pretty cool trim level for this one, kind of a middle of the road trim. You get a lot of what you want without anything crazy or any extra frills. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for plenty more content to come. And big shout out and thank you to Flow Nissan of Statesville for providing this car for today's video. Definitely take a look at their website linked down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Baby, baby, baby.